Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. This is going to be my third video of this week. And due to circumstances, I'm going to introduce four characters rather than the traditional three. And I hope you guys enjoy the experience and such. Here's the first character for me to introduce. Blada. Real name, Kimi Blada. Height, 6 feet 1 inches. Weight, 177 pounds. Status, hero. An ally of Uka Duke. Base, prehistoric dimension, mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior. Intellectual and willful. She will always try to help others. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. She has no healing factor. Powers. She possesses similar powers as Madame Shear. She has the hands of a Therizinosaurus, proven to be useful weapons. She could also create ancient weapons. Eyes. Reddish brown, hair deep black, and a short bob. Origin. In the prehistoric dimension, the native Madame Shear is an old-fashioned weapons designer known as Kimi Blada, or simply Blada. On one of her practices in prehistoric magic, Kimi inadvertently burnt her hands, and when she woke the next morning, she found that she developed the hands of a Therizinosaurus. After helping Uka Duke and Tyrannus with a hard fight against the villainous Spinorus, Leda ended up meeting her default counterpart, Madame Shear, for the first time. Since then, she would always help the innocents with most problems that come her way. Costume. She wears a brown toothpaste loincloth. Team Solitary with Uka Duke and other heroes. Or inspiration? Madame Shear and Kate Winner. Here's the next character, just so you know. Wind. Real name, inapplicable. Height? 5 feet 11.5 inches, weight 150 pounds, status villain and master of tornadoes, base fortress of terrorism, the moon, mobile, intelligence, four brains, behavior, sinister and remorseless, she'll do anything to honor her master, lethality, extremely dangerous, being in a basement doesn't make you safe, weaknesses, cosmic forces and magic, powers. She could summon deadly tornadoes with enough power to make a horde of tornadoes all over the world. She can fly by turning her legs into miniature tornadoes. She could also turn into a cloud of fog, has a high IQ, and can gradually repair herself in a matter of hours. Eyes bright silver, hair deep black and spiky. Origin. While examining the atmosphere of the planet, Dark Pym decided to create something that could weaponize the atmosphere. After a time of production, Dark Pym and her clones constructed a female android that possessed the power to create and manipulate with tornadoes. Naming her Wind, Dark Pym commanded her to annihilate all life on the default Earth. But when Tornatra found what was happening, she was convinced that Wind was ultimately trying to replace her. Eventually, she made a lightning strike that turned Wynn into a heap of scrap. Outraged of this, Dark Pym used an antimatter bomb to turn Tornatra into thin air. Soon, Dark Pym reconstructed Wynn with the ability to repair herself, and Wynn would since think twice before getting a carried away with the commands of her master. Costume. She wears a silver fabric suit coated with tornadoes. Team Solitary works for Dark Pym and other villains. Hordes of Inspiration, Tornadoes. Here's the third character, halfway there. Skyscraper. Real name, Eula Barnes. Height, 1,500 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, hero and expert mercenary. Base, United States, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior. Cunning and vicious, she'll do anything to protect the innocents from most kaiju-based threats. 
lethality. Highly deadly to most opponents, especially during a fight. Weaknesses. She has an occasional lack of awareness. Powers. She has great size and strength, martial arts, high agility, and wields a pair of katanas and a load of daggers. She also has an iron will. Eyes silverish blue, hair deep brown, and a braided ponytail. Origin. Eula Barnes was a young woman who always wanted to be a successful warrior, despite her lack of talent. One day, Eula was transported by portal into the time of ancient Japan, where she learned all the skills of an expert samurai. After all the training, Eula was transported back to the present day, which also granted her with an immense size. Eventually, Skyscraper learned that Chicago was overrun by Webb, Zombine, Sidra, and the Dome Snatcher. And with all her new skills, she had successfully defeated them. Since then, Skyscraper was marked as a hero and decided to become a mercenary in order to defeat or even destroy any massive villain possible. Costume. She wears a brown top, blue shorts, and gray sneakers. Teams. Solitary or with other heroes. Once inspiration, kaijus, and mercenaries. Here's the last character, just so you know. Visible. Real name, Valerie Storm. Height, 5 feet 9.5 inches, varied. Weight, 144 pounds, varied. Status, hero, and international spy. Base, mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior. Sneaky and witty. She loves to spy on people. Lethality. Extremely lethal. She could easily knock out hundreds of enemies before the first one even hits the ground. Weaknesses. Cosmic forces and being rivaled. Powers. She can control how her surroundings perceive her, allowing her to become imperceptible. She has high agility, martial arts, mass alteration, and great speed. She can also phase through most objects. Eyes, bluish silver, formerly blue. Hair, silverish and wavy, formerly yellow. Origin, Valerie Storm was a young woman who always had a desire to become an expert spy. One day, she was invited by Pym to go through an experiment that could make her better at becoming a spy. After transformation, Valerie gained the power to become unable to be sensed, along with forever becoming partially invisible like a spirit. After a time of success with her new career, Valerie earned, learned that Octolossa was rampaging across Gynarmica, being too difficult for the natives to defeat. After she arrived to the scene, Valerie succeeded by facing through Octolossa, knocking her out in the process. Earning the nickname Visible, Valerie would nowadays spend her time saving countless lives whenever there's any danger to be handled with. Costume. She recently wears nothing, respectively. She doesn't need to wear anything. Teams. Solitary or with other heroes. Origin inspiration. Transparency. Well, those are the four characters I'm going to introduce. And I hope it's worth it on your guys' behalf. I've been deciding, possibly, that I could make a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the sake of social recognition, and also to avoid plummeting, just to be sure. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Christmas and such, and the rest of the year, and until next time in transmission.